Hey everyone, I'm just checking in right here, getting ready to launch some videos. I'm going to be dealing with grief, disappointment, and overcoming fear. So this is something that's been laid on my heart that I want to do more public speaking and also creating more professional content. Um, so laying out outlines is the most important thing that I can do right now. So I just wanted to kind of just get something out there so I get an idea, a rough est estimate of the things, how they're going to be looking, and then uh, get the script together and put in some more um, really good lyrics to the things that I'm looking to produce. I'm looking to produce something that's about three to four minutes long and that really talks about as far as the grieving process, the pressure to continue to fit in and really just all of us trying to get along for the sake of getting along. And there's a huge aspect uh, in our society, especially in really well-off areas where there's a lot of isolation because the idea of perfectionism, the idea of achievement is running rampant and there is lack of real connections with people so I really wanted to uh, talk about as far as just being in a classroom and taking on a new spiritual class and just absorbing all this information and there's really some serious um, as far as mental things that are going on with you where you're trying to process certain things and they just don't add up the way you thought they were going to add up and you're and I'm always striving for always another social engagement. You're always continuing to um, go along for the sake of going along because you don't want to rock the boat. And inside, you're just dying inside. You're looking to speak up and talk about the things that you're wrestling with on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's, it's this idea of perfectionism and then just trying to form a community. I'd love to make a community where people can come together and... Uh, have a safe place because there's a lot of people that just don't have the finances to go out and get help in a professional sense. And even then, it, it doesn't guarantee that you're going to find someone that you're going to connect with. It's very hard to find someone that empathizes or has gone through the same experiences you have. So I'm looking to just kind of tackle that in a professional video and hopefully I can depict it well enough. Some of the things that you feel and the emotion and depression or isolation, disappointment, fear, grief, um, anxiety that people feel on a day-to-day -day basis so that's what kind of my goal is it's been on my heart just calling at me and more than anything else is that I want to have an impact as far as addressing some of these big concerns I know I've been having a lot of conversations uh, with people and just uh, there's been a real um, value that I've my opinion has towards people and just being open-hearted and transparent with people that's really, really cool to see how I'm um, just trying to open up that door and allowing people the time and space and embracing them and encouraging them and celebrating them as they open up about what they actually want out of life instead of just trying to get the normal things, achievements, marks in life, um, doing something a little bit deeper than that, challenging their beliefs, challenging their relationships or where are you putting blame at? Are you being a victim? And are you actually working on allowing other people like the support or are you getting the support that you need to actually invest into yourself? That's another big thing. There's a lot of things um, that we invest in as far as possessions, but people have a hard time spending a few hundred dollars on some professional coaching to develop themselves and to find some accountability in their life. They don't invest in those things. They invest into a finance as far as um, a house, a degree, um, college debt. The things that they take on are just kind of an out, a surfacey way to gather information, but not ever really addressing the true uh, inner person that you are and the things you want to become. Like, what really gets you excited? Is it community? Is it giving back? Is it storytelling? Communication is huge, and a lot of us lack that. And I talked about uh, the voids that I've had in my life because of uh, lack of communication, the things that I was involved with. And especially for men um, going into trades or the military, the things that I was involved in at an early age and the killing the creativity, killing the spiritual side that I had, the communication that I wanted to express, but my talents lied into, lied into the physical world of where a lot of men fall and just wrestling with that, saying, no, I'm much more than that. I'm much more than just a physical specimen that needs to do A and Z and be told what to do and um, getting into these programs that don't really validate. There's no uh, monetary value and transaction over your feelings, the things that you care about, 
and a lot of men just stop talking about them because they're not valued and you get paid to be something different. And, and some of these things that need to be addressed as, as far as military is huge where you're stripped of your identity, told to go wherever you are told to go anywhere in the world. And then you come back and you're supposed to have an identity when you had creativity maybe as a kid, but you left it in the past to embrace your new profession in the, in the career field that you're in. And the military definitely strips you of every right and freedom and creativity and spiritual uh, things that you care about. So that's just so important that um, we open that up and saying it's okay to be creative. It's okay for you to be loving and sensitive and to cry and do these things that most of the time is not acceptable for, for a lot of men to do. So I just wanted to give them uh, a video, something that they can connect with uh, so they could have encouragement to become more sensitive to find the arts, the films, the writing, the self-expression, and how rewarding that is. It becomes some of the most exciting things that I ever get to do is just do, do communications with people and have relationships and to build something that's going to last a lifetime instead of just working for the physical presence and the physical exchange, trying to look for a deeper meaning. Um, and that's just it feels so good to connect to something and connect to yourself because you gave it back, you tried to understand, and you just uh, took courage, and you did something that really scared you. So I'm just testing this out right now, so I'd love your feedback if you guys have anything to say about these topics that I'm about to address. Um, talking about relationships, um, as far as when you get into relationships, why you get into relationships, and um, the habits you form around just being in a relationship and the identity that you form when you are much more independent, you're much more creative, and you are... Um, you substitute that because it's comfortable. You emotionally, it speaks to you. Pleasure, it speaks to you. Um, but also leaving your profession, leaving your talents and some of those aside for the sake of the relationship, and you'll get to a point in in your relationship. A lot of times, um, or even if you're someone that's a chronic relationship person, is that you just continue to do it because it's just a good way to spend your time. You feel like it's investing into your future, seeking out the perfect spouse, and we're all looking for the perfect spouse, and that's going to be our golden ticket for a good life is if we find a great person. Um, the problem is, is that it becomes a vicious cycle or it becomes an idol, an idol that you think that this is going to be the, the cure-all for your life this chronic thing as far as trying to find the perfect one and it doesn't exist in the, the actual solution is lies within yourself. The thing that you've had all along, but you didn't want to address it. You didn't want to get isolated. You didn't have to, you didn't want to wrestle with these the things as far as what you're looking for. You just kind of place that on a person experience and all the benefits that a relationship gives you. And just to actually uh, make yourself a priority, um, where you're honest about your emotions, instead of hiding them because you don't want to disappoint someone. So being very transparent with your emotions is very important. Um, that's uh, another thing I want to talk about as far as just a lot of people hide things because they don't want to ruin something or sabotage a good thing when it's not the best thing. And they maybe have a timeline of five years and they're saying, okay, I'm going to get in this relationship and it's only been a month. You know, you just said five years. You're compromising every single day on personal goals because you allow friendships and relationships always to kind of jump in front of you. And it can sabotage uh, with the things you're kind of trying to do because a lot of times when you get in a relationship, you one person demands or expects that everything is going to be all about them and your passion and your career and the things you were pursuing before can go elsewhere. And that's not every relationship, I mean, there, but it is a good majority of relationships where there's a lot of sacrificing and uh, expectation that they get into and they're not meeting those and you just feel like a failure. You, you start not feeling like yourself anymore, that you're not embraced for who you are uh, because you have to morph into this other person when your talents might be the way you were acting before, the way you were, the things that you possess that you're really good at, and you should continue to do those things. And um, doesn't mean you have to always become something you're not for the sake of relationship. A lot of times, I think that we should become more of who we are through a relationship. We should should be supported, encouraged to be more of us. But I find a lot of people um, just giving in and sacrificing. And um, that's not good as far as a personality. You're going to get frustrated that you've become something that you weren't in initially were or intending to be. Your DNA, your nature, 
and your passions don't go away. Those are always going to be with you, and those are things that are important to you for a reason. And if you have to sacrifice those um, for a relationship, that can be really challenging, um, and especially if it just continues more and more sacrifice, and your dreams and your passions get buried along with life, and you wake up one morning and you don't know who you are because you just continue to make sacrifices and compromises and you lose yourself in a life that just kind of sweeps you away, takes you away, and it can just snowball. There's momentum in that and you eventually make other people the priority and you sacrifice telling yourself this is the right thing to do and you can't help anyone if you're not being your full self. If you're not happy, that's going to be evident and your kids are going to see that. They're going to see some of your frustrations and your closed offnesses, you're going to put on a mask and you're going to just try to act like it's all okay. And you're going to try to fake it that you're happy with the situation you're in. And people are going to be able to pick up on that. And your spouse, your kids, your community, and even yourself, you're going to pick up on like, who am I and why did I do this? And it's just a new identity trait that you're doing um, over and over again. And you don't even realize it because you forgot to actually appreciate yourself to try things that you like and, and to enjoy yourself and you just have a life that's just continually sacrifice and settling for things because that's your job. Um, and that's really challenging when, when people have so much potential and they have so much passion, they have things that they want to do and then they get into a life where school it was never about them, college it was never about them, or in a relationship it's not about them. So people can always kind of take this passive road where they never actually get pushed to do things that are uncomfortable for them and they want to do those things but they never find the right place to do it and there's never it seems like the right place at work and it seems like if you're too creative people will get mad at you and upset if you say the wrong things about religion or politics or you're gonna get fired and there's always this give and take as far as how creative I can be and how people are going to judge me and what I'm going to lose if I speak my mind and share my opinion on things that are my opinion and that's free speech but really in a world we live in there is no free speech there's always do's and don'ts and red tape everywhere we go and that's not being authentic it's not being authentic to do that and there's so much in the news that I feel like people go overboard and they get away with it and they say all kinds of radical things about as far as you know hurting someone or making fun of someone or, or shaming thing that they do or even a court hearing for just ac accusations that aren't necessarily true and it just goes public and that's just not right where people over speak their mind or if they, if they can do that then the conservative parties and things like that should be able to speak their conservative point of views and have some real conversations about accountability and what they view as important and the things that um, are on their heart, not just the radical left experiences that people have, the radical opinions that people have that should be, I don't know how that's supported as far as the drama that comes out of there, but it's, if you have a conservative point of view, you're asking to tone it down and to take out the drama that you're actually in more trouble than the person that comes up with this ridiculous brand new piece of drama that came out of nowhere that everyone just automatically embraces when conservatism and, and traditions have been the things of our past. That's what built this country and those things are unaccepted and, you know, violation of like a lot of people think that um, they're criminal acts. They're just consistent historic well, um, is issues and lifestyles that people chose over the years and those are radical. Um, <laughs> I don't know how that works. Um, so yeah, um, free speech, um, your conservative approach, uh, the giving, giving thanks, gratitude, um, whatever your religious background is, and let, letting it be an equal because I definitely don't think it's equal at all. So me saying this is me just saying I think that there's a lot of people that have really healthy lives and really healthy families and really healthy uh, spiritual well-being and emotional health, health well-being and they're considered goofy or disruptive or aggressive and they're just sharing the stability principles that they've built their whole entire life on versus the radical stuff that's never been proven. There's It's a brand new concept that 
uh, has no weight or bearing in a lot of people's lives. And we're just supposed to automatically jump at that when consistency and historical um, behavior is ignored. And that does, that makes the most sense to me if it's been proven over time versus a radical and new idea that I'm supposed to embrace. So I don't get it. Anyway, but going back to the point, I um, want to dive into as far as grief, admitting it, that you're grieving, admitting that you don't communicate, admitting that you don't appreciate your creativity, and then the healing process of just having someone there that you can find, and it's hard to find someone that connects with you and resonates with you, and then once you feel accepted and being liberated and then set, set free to do the things that you want to do in the future and making those a goal and a priority, and you just feel so much better after you kind of make that... Um, that stance and, and that conviction that comes over you and facing up and being honest with the people that you need to be honest with is so huge and it's just a lifestyle shift and it gives you your power back and you start to think and believe again and breathe different and you start to exercise and uh, diet differently. Everything about you starts to shift because you start to appreciate yourself again and then um, there's a huge huge just like um, happiness that comes over you because you actually are taking care of yourself you're actually speaking what your concerns are and you're also talking about the things that are hurting you and if you bring them out and want accountability for them you'll start making that a priority and tracking those things and trying to push through this and those things to challenge yourself to get through those things and that's where it's 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 a beautiful thing once people admit their grief and their pain and, and the things that they're struggling with so I wanted to create this this video where it really captures um, all the things that we go through in a society in, in a generation and all the things that we participate in appearing and trying to live the American dream appearing and trying to capture something that really isn't that doesn't have any value to it. It's, it's purpose and it's honesty and, and it's love that we find real meaning. And just allowing people to find that honesty and love and honesty in their life. So that's what I'm trying to create is that just not saying, oh, I'm happy because I'm making a good paycheck. I'm happy because um, I have three kids. And I think when people just continue to throw stuff on their, their plate, that's just busy work instead of purpose. But a lot of people are busy and they're achieving knowledge and schools and things like that. And they're going to football games and they're going to restaurants, but they're not really pushing for anything of value except consumption. <laughs> and that just probably leaves, leaves you with a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, because there's no purpose behind it. You're just doing it to do and to fit in, to look good, and to appear that you're happy to by surrounding yourself by stuff and people. So I wanted to just talk about not fitting in, talking about... Um, the abuse that you suffered and you just constantly go through your head that you're not good enough or someone that hurt you or the pills that you take to um, for your ADD or your depression that you're not telling anyone about so you can appear normal but it's it's making you numb and you don't even listen anymore because you it robs you of true joy it's a fake joy it's a cheap joy because it's a drug just coming over you to help you actually endure some of these conversations. So that's my intention um, is just to talk about the messy stuff that we're hiding and, and uh, say, let's come together and let's meet. Let's talk about this. Let's start a community where people that are grieving that have a space to go and they can have radical honesty. And I, I'm a great with an inside a conversation as far as talking about people's past and um, just I'm finding so many connections with people and what they're going through and just helping them walk through that and just to be radically honest and not just to accept it and say, oh, cool, a good job. But why do you do that? What are your motives? What are you looking to get out of this? And what's the next five years look like? Do you care more about this or this? Or, so just asking those tougher questions and finding the real answer by asking enough questions to find the real truth behind why you do things instead of a lot of times we just do it because we think that's the best thing to do and we never get really serious about what we actually want to accomplish so anyway that's my two cents and i will check back in with you i'll get a move on this script and hopefully i'll be producing something tomorrow so all right guys take care be seeing you soon